Bubba built it. We're back on the 68 Charger today. Uh, Challenger, Charger, uh, the still working title, General Leroy. We're not sure exactly what we're going to yeah. call it, but we're back on it. We had to take uh, last weekend off to help the folks from Built Should Have Bought Garage. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We, we stripped down the, their Corvette. They brought in a C5 and then a K5 Blazer. Got it and, set, got it packed boom. in place, yeah, and man. they're going to finish it up. We uh, did all of that in less than 12 hours, too, by the way, hours. which was Do surprising. Documented. I mean, we had no idea we were going to be able to do that, so we didn't even you know, push that angle when we did the video, no, but didn't. it worked out. Uh, and then after that, we had to fly out to Anaheim, California, because you know we also do tire graphics for a living. Mm -hmm. That's, that's yeah. what pays the bills. That's, that's what pays the bills. And so we went out to Anaheim, California, to help Feld Entertainment some, Monster some Jam. Yeah, with the, uh, <laughs> with the Monster Jam show. It's the Superstar Show. And let me tell you something, fantastic! Wow, wow, it's amazing what they can do with those yeah. trucks. I mean, they just send it. But anyway, so we're back on this now. And obviously, we've gotten a pretty good ways. Uh, Michael lifted the body back off uh, after Built Should Have Bought left. Uh, you did that on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, it was Monday. Monday. And then we flew out on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So uh, lifted this up. And he did some more cutting up here on the cowl area. A lot of cutting. Yeah. Uh, what we're doing here is we're clearancing everything for this cowl to sit right down here. And then we're going to, don't worry about this. We're going to use the dash over there. Came off of the, the charger to put back in here and fill this in. Yeah. Uh, it's... And then what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the placement for front to rear and we're going to tack these A pillars in place and then we're going to cut this cow back off right. because as we talked about before, this is an area that is a wet area. We've got to make sure we seal that. We're going to make provision for at least one wiper yeah. so we can drive this thing. Um, so, yeah. Another thing that we're going to be doing is we gotta we got to lose some of this right here because this tower here actually slopes forward yeah we're we thinking cut, about an inch and a half or so we could entirely cut that off but it's a, it's a good structure it's already there so anytime we've got original structure we can leave we're going to try to do that yeah um, absolutely. because this body is just a shell and so anyway yeah we're going to cut away so this will sit down in there yeah we again we want this uh it's internal metal yeah the pinch welds here no, no the pinch weld is right here, all the way up there oh yeah right there yeah so this is like spaghetti right now. It's yeah, very, so. it's very loosey goosey. But we already know that pinch weld is a is a defining point. It's going to lay right down in here yeah. on the outside of this pinch but weld. But the inside metal is what's going to have to be cut. This is okay. All this outside is okay, but all this in here is going to have to be cut back. All oh, that's got to go. Yeah. And then another thing that we're going to work on today is this right here. We're going to move this gas filler around as best as we can. Uh, we're going to try to route it back this way. And then we'll, whenever we do our deck lid back here, our, um, yeah, we want to do, again. we want to do something similar to what we did on the strap tona. The central filler cap in the middle is kind of a cool feature. Plus this is going to be a cannonball run car is what, is what our backstory is going to be. And so whether or not we put an auxiliary tank in, that's going to be the idea is that, and we still could put an auxiliary tank and feed it back to the other tank. Yeah. That's true. But either way, um, the central filler location. So we'll probably end up modifying that filler and kicking it this way and up. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Our goal this week is going to be to drop this down and tack it in on the uh, on the donor body. Yeah, and get it down so, low enough because that's going to be... That's the trick. That is the trick with this because we don't want it sitting up too high. Yeah, otherwise um, it'll look like some sort of weird off-road thing. Mad Max, yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's do it. We got the gas filler out of the way. It has now been pulled out. Very easy to do, actually. Um, Michael might disagree with me on that. Yeah, he got the creeper. Yeah. Well. Anyway, so that's done. We got the fender up here, and you see the the white lines. That that's telling us what our center mark is. And so we've lined it up here. We've lined it up here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drop the body down 
on top of the donor vehicle and see where we're falling. Make sure that everything's lining up, but it does look like things are going to do what we want them to do. Uh, in fact, it looks like we're going to actually clear this tower. So this is all good. This is all looking very, very positive. So we're going to drop her down and see what happens. We've been up and down several times now. We're still trimming and finding more stuff that we need to trim. Uh, for example, we have left a good portion of this and we have since trimmed that trimmed that and then back inside there some more trimming and then right across here we're going to go ahead and, and trim this section it back get it out of our way uh, which is good because it means some more defrost for the windows or the windshield rather and that's what we want all right we're feeling pretty good about the placement of this we've got it down probably down as low as we can get so good news check it out already so one, one of the deals you, things you deal with on this is that i like that the the charger is much more of a thin profile vehicle than the thickness of the uh of the donor and so we're already we're already a good inch and a half lower than the hood line the cow line of that of the donor vehicle but it's still you know it's going to take a little bit of that thickness of this chassis to even look right so you just have to get it you got to get it this low yeah. And I could almost see us getting it down just a little more here in the front than we've got it, but, yeah. but it's really close. And obviously, we're going to take this flange off all go. the way on both sides. But yeah, this this looks good. Let me see if I can get back so you can get a full side profile shot of it. Yeah, man, that's much better. Looking really good. It makes a big, big difference. Yeah. Of course, once we've got the quarters back here filled in widened out and the same on the front it's gonna look amazing yeah and also keep in mind no engine so we're sitting real high up front oh yeah and that makes a that'll make a big difference right there well if you look at the leading edge of the dash here you can see that too oh yeah i mean we're already lower than the dash so yeah Boop. Which we're gonna end up cutting this back further a little bit further you get some here yeah take that airbag out Launch it around that pod for the... Yeah, we might be able to encroach a little bit on the pod even, possibly. Yeah. I don't know, we'll, we'll look at that. Cool, very cool. I'm loving it. Yesterday I stayed at the office in the afternoon and got some work done there. And while I was doing that, Michael came here and cut some more on the deck. And there's Sonny in the way. So you got to move out of that shot. Doesn't get enough attention around here. Yeah, this, this is terrible. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I mean, look, this is exactly where I'm wanting to shoot. It's like he knows what I'm wanting to do. Anytime we're wanting to do something, so he's like, I am right here. He's like, <laughs> there we go. Now you can All see. Right. So Michael came in here, trimmed some more out, obviously removed the airbag so that there's no surprises there. Uh, going down the road, that's that's always good. Yeah, well, it's a big metal thing in our way too. Yeah, this dash. Guy. This is about where it wants to sit, but the fact is, well, there's not much here. So the right. see how that pushes down, yeah. and that's where the surface of the old dash top will be. So what we're going to do is we're going to, with like everything else with the swap, you, know, you you take everything and mold it together. But this is going to be the point where, where old meets new. And so all this will push down, and the metal dash, I actually measured it, and it's going to fall about right here where that groove is on top of the dash right there. And so it's going to cover all of that right mm -hmm. there, working out very nicely, and obviously we'll... We'll probably notch a little bit, maybe mm -hmm. do some more cutting here. Maybe. Possibly. We yeah. don't know exactly, but we'll work that out and lay it down in there. And as, as you saw, that's really going to go down nicely. Mm -hmm. So today, what we're going to be doing is, is trimming off this flange, preparing this fender to go right on over this tower and go ahead and get this fender set on here so yep. that we can see how far this has to go yeah because this really this 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 bar right here this structural piece uh represents really the lowest you can take uh this on an lc chassis and so we really want to get that a pillar down as low as possible and this is going to be the thing that determines how much lower it can go and it really i mean if it goes down at all it could be possibly a half an inch and that's about it yeah because this already as you can see if this is the top here 
and that fender, I mean, it's going to sit right basically on that. So that's we're really close here. Yeah, but as you were pointing out earlier, a half inch back here makes a huge difference out front here. Mm -hmm. And because this is going to be a wing car, that nose is going to come out to here. Not that far. <laughs> But almost, it seems that way. Well, no, I mean, you're right. It's going to be out to here. Yeah. It's it's, it's like literally right going to be out to here. Yeah. I mean, it's... And we don't so, want it to be like it's, you know, a, a we don't want it aristocracy like, sniffing the air, you know? We don't want it. <laughs> we don't want it to look like the original ones. Do. No, we don't. So, anyway, we that's... Like, we want to look like the race car version. The race car version. Not the street going. And then that's what we're going to hit. We're going to yeah. do it. All right. And I don't, I don't know if we've discussed this before. Well, I know we've discussed this part. The... Charger is bad, as you can see. It's just rusted all out. So one of the things we're going to do, we're going to set this. We're going to go ahead and get this mounted, and then we're going to cut this off, right? Mm -hmm. So that there's a little bit of inner structure here that attaches to the bottom of this A pillar area, and so this really is just a this cowl top is really just a cosmetic piece. So once we get it set, then we're going to cut this cowl off right through here and around that, and that'll come off. Then we can do all the metal work underneath. To seal that up to finish the inner cowl yeah and uh, and then we'll have something that is watertight something that we won't have to worry about you know puddle in the floor yeah. if it rains on us so. watertight airtight all that good stuff mm -hmm. so and that is that's one of the key things whenever you're doing a body swap it's a major hurdle to mm -hmm. overcome uh, because the cowl usually gets compromised in some way yes. and once that happens you've got a lot of water infiltration and yep. air it just it's drafty this uh is going to be a crucial step in getting all of that sealed up so like i said we're going to mount this to this part right here we'll cut this off do all of our fab work under here and seal all that up and then we're going to yep. That's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. This morning, I'm going to be cutting off the uh, core support for the charger body. We're going to need that to attach those fenders. So I'm going to pull this whole front clip into the inside there and use the plasma cutter to, to trim off what we need to mount those fenders and everything else. We've discussed this before. The previous owners had some creative wheel choices. As you can see on this side, we have some very, very cheap rims. What size are they? Do you remember? 22. 22s. Yeah, so we've got 22s. And if you've had a uh, Charger or Challenger, either mm -hmm. one, you know that it gets a little difficult to actually swap out your wheels uh, to go with the bigger diameter like that. But on this side, we've got the stock 20s. They may not actually be stock. But anyway, well, those are SRT wheels. they're definitely, <clears throat> they're, they're, as you can see, they're Dodge wheels. But because we've got 22s on this side, it's kind of messing with our whole level. And uh, what Michael's going to do, he's going to swap out this one with this one, just so we're, we're level. And while we're talking about wheels, let's go ahead and discuss what we've decided on, what we're going to go with for our project yeah so we wanted kind of a classic look but we still have to go with a 20. i mean we could go with slightly smaller than a 20 but we're going to go with the 20s and um, with a classic look and a 20 inch wheel there's just almost no better choice than uh, detroit steel uh, so we looked at their selection and they've got a 20 by 11 that is going to be and they have custom offset options and it's going to be a 20 by 11 and it's going to be like a negative two or uh it's a four inch backspace, but on 11 inch wheel, which is really 12 inches, 
<laughs> this gets complicated. Okay, so you know you've got backspacing, and then you've got offset, and they're yeah, two different right, things. All right. Before before we just totally lose our our <laughs> our viewers with uh, the, all the numbers, let's just show them about what we're looking at. Let's grab the tape measure. Yeah, so we're thinking that a twenty by eleven, and then a negative two inch offset. We're probably looking at at least the end of the wheel being right there. So what that means is we're talking probably eight inches of width added to this car. <laughs> And that's going to be <laughs> that's a giggle factor sweet. yeah that is uh, a giggle factor man yeah. that's awesome and then we're going to go with a square setup which we like to do that square yes. square is where it is absolutely because uh, you can rotate them it's just got a beefier look it's the and, road race look that's man. right that's it's right awesome uh we're going to do some custom touches to those wheels um which we'll talk about later but uh we're really excited to, uh, to be to, we made the choice on that and uh the steel the detroit steel wheels are going to be a great addition to this build awesome and while Michael's swapping those around and then he's gonna level up the back so that we can go ahead and weld up the A pillars. While he's doing that, I am going to cut out that core support along this line right here. At least that's the plan. are swapped over doesn't that look so much better no no <laughs> no it but doesn't at least one side not higher than the other i mean i've seen car brash before but this is like this is a whole nother level it's look awesome. it's 360 degrees yeah, i mean that's like, awesome it's like i'm into the curb you know what screw it <laughs> we're going for it man for it. i hate that curb i, I hate, hate it. it i hate this wheel too i hate the wheel i hate the curb so all right, there's our core support. Obviously, we need to do a little more trimming. Yeah, and we need to get a hammer after that. See where it's bent there? Yeah. This, this is this. I don't know. It's at some point, it took away. Dan. Yeah. All right. So a little more trimming. We knew we were going to have to trim on the the frame horn mm -hmm. here a little bit, but I'm thinking instead, since we're, it's it's not going to go down that far. Maybe two options. One, we just cut it straight across. Or we could notch to go around the frame horn. Yeah, I like that idea. Notching around the frame horn. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anytime we can leave structure on the donor, we want to leave structure on the donor. I I, I concur. Yeah. I concur. Okay. Well, uh, get a hammer after this. Yeah, I guess straightening it up would be the first thing to do. Look at that, it's working already. Oh, it's beautiful. It's light. That's like Surf Pro. Yeah. It never like happened. It never happened. Sweet. All right. We started looking at the fender placement and how it's falling on the car, and we have come to the conclusion that we need to take some more out here at the cowl. So what we're going to do is go ahead and show them this over here. Show them this is the thing. That's yeah, there we go. There we go. So again, we've got that core support mounted, and our fender is pretty much for all its purposes almost in line inch, there. Almost an inch and a half off the connected here, mm -hmm. and now we want that this to be at least on this tower right here, setting right on it. So. And we're looking at it and we're thinking that we need to be about three quarters of an inch or so lower. Mm -hmm. And that means what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut the, separate the cowl here from the, from the, from the donor of the car and the under support. And then we're going to cut all of this out to get this on down and then consequently setting all of this down. So whew, here we go. Here we go. It's fun. Wheel of death time. Yeah, wheel of death. Oh, I want more 
both bought here. spot right there. Yeah, there's the little bitties. There it is. There's the story right there. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we got a clear picture of A, everything that's in our way, and B, what we're going to do with this metal to, to get up to it. And, uh, as you can see, there's not a whole lot in our way here. Actually, that needs to be trimmed, obviously. That little corner of that metal, which we're not using for anything. Yeah. Um, then, you know, these ducks, the way they, the way they go there, looks like we just cut them off and just box the end of them in. Yeah. They just won't flow quite as well, but they'll flow. So, and those are the defrost ducks right there. So that'll give us more space to do what we need to do with them too. So, see, I'm already into that right there anyway. So what I need to do is go ahead and cut that sucker off. And we'll, yeah. It just won't flow quite as good. It'll only matter in high volume. Right. So, and then that, that won't affect the center vents anyway. Right. So I guess what we'll do. Actually, it'll probably cause the center vents to flow even better. Oh yeah, it'll definitely throw more pressure to those. So, but see, this is this is what we always needed to do all along. We knew we were going to do this because we got to have, we got to make metal here to go to fill this in. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, that that's it's really critical to have that sealed off. That way, we're not getting a bunch of water in. But this also shows. See where this. So this means this needs to cut, probably, or that, or, or that, or that's got. I think we should cut this. Yeah. Yeah, to knock it on down. Because that's where it's sitting. That's what it's sitting on right there. You can see it, mm -hmm. both sides. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. Well, this is this is good. And then we. So this one right here. Is so bad. Yeah. I wonder if we should just cut it off entirely. Well, right now it is giving us a little bit of a reference. But, yeah, but the big reference is just this, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, to your point, that's, that is really all we need is, is just some reference point, and that's the, that is truly the best one. See, other people have left a lot of this, but it's already irregular with like, holes for the there were holes here for the wiper and so i don't think it hurts us to take it out and start with fresh and we'll just weld we'll, we'll, we'll butt the metal right up underneath this lip here right there at that seam yeah. and weld that in and that'll be nice and nice and solid okay. sitting down already those sides see those here's a great example of what we're talking about those side ducts were the main thing in our way but this is still a little high here but now i can get to it to cut this out yeah it's not this hmm? let's look over here what do you know okay that is right on that seam and that's above the seam a little bit. See that? That's why it's higher. Uh -huh. So, uh, where's your hearing protection? Oop. Where's your, where's your safety goggles? Oop. I don't know. They're over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, OSHA? Get on my face. <laughs> Here, let's set this back on. Okay, so I'm hoping that I can find a before and after shot oh, here. We're, we're just cutting this out. 
Yeah, right. Just on the ends, though, not in the middle. Yeah. I'm hoping I can find a before and after shot that illustrates what I'm talking about here, but it's well, look, amazing. Look it's up now. Yeah. It, it's, it's truly amazing to me how just that little bit of a cut has dropped this down. I, I didn't even realize it was like that. I mean, okay. We after do, after you had the fenders on it and everything, you could tell the tail because out here at the nose, things are up in the air like it shouldn't be. But, you know, and I'm thinking the roof the line is, is not in there. And, right. Yeah. And I'm looking at the roof line I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And now, though, it looks it looks yeah. more better, more better. So it just tells and, the story. Yeah. Right here. And that right there before where this was hitting, it was. You know, yeah, it, it, was, it was straight and that's where it should be. But now obviously now this has got to go and we got to come on down. Or we just cut that. Cut this leading lip cut a little bit more. Lip all the way gone. Well, isn't that better? If yeah. we can get away with that, that's really we key. Yeah, and since we are making our own hood, that does make that a little more feasible. Mm -hmm. So once again, anytime you can leave structure in the donor, you'll leave it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we'll just try to put the balloon just because we got we got room all underneath here now. Nothing's touching there. That's crazy. I know that half an inch drop just it just amazing. And we can still get now we can easily get a little more if we want to, but Yeah. We're we're getting there, man. Okay, and, and then looking here at the vents, what we did is we went ahead and took this defrost part out. It just bolted in, so that was that was easy. And then we cut those off. And we cut those it. off. As you saw, uh, we're, we're still debating about how we're going to get back over here to the to these vents over here on the sides. But uh, we, this is this is an easy deal. The mm -hmm. defrost is obviously just going to want to come right on up, and yeah, we'll, we'll have that. Look, we've got that speaker. So look, we already have the defrost vents there, which we can just cut that. We can actually, yeah. Do something all you the way cut across. This whole thing out right here. Just cut it out in a rectangle shape and just put a little piece. Yeah. Little, little louvers over that. Right. That's what we should do. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. That's a good plan. And that's just gonna go right up on the right up on the windshield. Yeah. Which is what we want. Yeah. Sweet. This is good. This is a this is a great plan coming together. I'm glad, look, I'm glad we did this. We knew we were already gonna have to cut this off. Yeah. To, to make, make that up. And so what it did is it gave us access. It gave us all this knowledge to see what's underneath there. And so, so then when we talked about bringing it down just that little bit, it, and now we need to hang the fender again and look and see yeah. what it's done. Let's do that. Well, now, now keep this in mind though. We're going to have to I know, shorten it's, this now too. Right. It's got to come down a little mm -hmm. bit further because it's, it's, it's too high. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really, I'm really hoping I've got a decent enough shot so that I can show well, this tells how the much. That is oh yeah. That's marble. significant. Yeah. But I'm hoping that we can, that this, because like I said, man, I'm looking at that roof line. I was like, yeah, that looks pretty good. You can, it does, uh, it's, uh, now it's, it's like, what a difference yes, <laughs> this is right. This is correct. So awesome, awesome, awesome. It was a great day. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're about to have to go to lunch. Lunch, that's, that's Yeah, go, go into the office and actually do some work, processing orders, getting folks their tire graphics, yep. which is awesome. We love it. This morning, we were messing around with this core support that we took off of the, the charger body and uh, getting it fitted in here correctly, making some trim, trimming adjustments, things like that. We've got it kind of mocked up, uh, feeling pretty good about its placement. Uh, we're going to have to, of course, secure it completely to the, to the uh, donor car here, but uh, this is looking really good, looking really good. And then, of course... As you can see, we've mocked the fender up. We've made some rough estimates about where, once we've got our, our wheel and tire package on here, where the, uh, and, and the coilovers and the engine, where we think stuff's gonna hit. And then we have mocked the door up here. It's just propped up against everything. Yeah, we still have trimming to do. Yeah, we still have some trimming to do. And we're gonna have to, of course, rebuild this this hinge point on the frame the upright post we also discovered that right here where the uh that rail is here we're going to have to trim out where the bolt point is so it can sit on down as you can see 
We've got at least that far to go. And of course, this front of the cowl is still a little bit high, but we feel like placement of the A-pillars is good. Yes. We feel like our C-pillars are good and door consequently is almost good. Almost. almost. So this is, this is exciting, man, it's coming together. You can start to see where things are gonna end up and that's always fun. This is where things start to kind of, I don't know. Coalesce? Coalesce, yeah. <laughs> and also kind of tighten up on our on the amount of time that it takes to get things done. I mean, it's, it's amazing. There seems like there's just small movement occurring here, but it's actually a lot going on. Last time, as we ended up, we just had the body dropped on. It was just sitting there. Just it, sitting there. It was about two inches higher than what it needed to be. Uh, we didn't have everything trimmed out the way it needed and to that be. takes a lot of work to get it on down and we're still as we discussed just a second ago not quite there yet but we're working on really it. close and it's coming it's coming together so obviously we are really excited about getting those wheels and tires yeah so stance yeah. is everything uh, yeah. on a build it's the absolute most important thing and you're really not going to have a, a clear view of stance until you get the wheels and tires on the car and it's foundational yeah and so we don't have that yet, yep. um, but we are, we're, like you lightly said, we're getting close yep. uh, to seeing what it's going to look like. Now, once the wheels and tires are here, and we're hope, hoping, maybe not the next video, that we'll have yeah. wheels and tires on the car. That'll be awesome. And so that will give us a real sense of where we're going with the stance and where the body is sitting and how we're going to do the wide body. Yep. Uh, once again, the wide body is such a crucial part of this. Huge. This is not going to be as low as Scrap Tona was. Uh, but it's going to be wider than scrap tona was right and uh and that's going to make a huge difference the wider it's it's almost like a ratio the wider you go the lower it the looks lower it looks so even though we're not as low we're going to be wider so hopefully we'll have a similar kind of uh a, we'll have a similar look at that um, yeah and as we were as he and i were discussing off camera right now the way she sits i mean this looks like I, it looks like a charger going down the road yeah, there's I, no engine in it of course yeah. and uh we're talking about coilovers so uh we're going to drop, but, but it's down. already looking good, and it's that's what we're talking good. about, right? Absolutely. Uh, One of the things I, I don't believe I've really discussed at any length is what we're going to do here on the dash. I think we've got a very good solution in place. We're going to take the the old dash cap there, and we're going to yeah, we're going to cut it loose. Actually, there's no yeah. such thing as a cap on that. It's all one big right. metal piece. Yeah. We're going to cut it loose like a cap, and where it applies here with these bolt points, the metal part is going to come around. We're going to wrap around this pod area, but everything else is going to kind of come out like it did originally. Yeah. And uh, so, and we're looking at this defrost and and routing the uh, the side vents and all that. But all that is going to sit in there and um, and cap that perfectly and have really more of an original look, which is kind of what we want. Uh, right. Absolutely. Sometimes the big newer dash kind of looks out of place oh yeah well and, there's, and, there's no doubt about it it right. definitely does so we're going to have kind of a a bit of a hybrid of yeah. the two and i think it's going to be tastefully done another cool thing we're going to we've got a good plan i think on the vents and it's going to be something that you know sure wouldn't it be awesome to have a 3d printer at your disposal but mm -hmm. we don't so we're going to show you something we're going to put something together that I think anybody could go to their hardware store yes. and probably for less than 20 bucks come out with a good solution to fix this little issue right here where we go right on out there off of this. Right. So anyway, obviously, like I said, we've got to get our cowl. Yeah. So, yeah. So I don't know if we looked at this, but look at underneath here. So that's going to be another part is taking and welding in metal from here to here to close all this in. Yep. It's going to be a critical part of the of the of this being a functional vehicle without any water leaks and without a lot of air leaks. Air leaks, right, right. So we are getting there. Uh, we really appreciate you watching and coming along with us on this journey. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm I'm just super excited. Whenever you look at this, especially you know from these angles on this side where we've got that door up there, man, it's just looking coming together. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. All right. Well, that's going to be it for, for this week. Uh, thank you again for, for tuning in with us and uh, give us a like, a share, and all that I mean, good happy stuff. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.